Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue. What I have for you today is I'm going to be cooking up some beef stew uh, out on the Yoder's Y640 pellet cooker. Now I had some leftover tenderloin uh, from yesterday's cook. Also have some leftover uh, chuck roast. So we're going to get those all diced up, make us some beef stew outdoors. Enjoy. Let's see if I can pull this one off here today. So, again, we're doing beef stew. The first thing I'm adding, so in my pot here, I have a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to uh, just gonna get some bacon going first off. Bacon will be step number one. Alright, well the bacon's finishing up here. So the one thing I learned that I will interject in here is that uh, I, have, I had it set way too low. I had it at 300. I do have an open flame going, but I cranked it up to 450 because that just took way too long. So next up here, we are going to brown up our meat. So what I have today, um, basically it's just a flour mix, so I have flour. And then I also have some white pepper and salt. So that's all we'll be doing. All right, well, the browning of the beef went very well. So now we're doing uh, onions and garlic. Kind of mixing it up with all the main beef fat, bacon fat. Kind of loosen up that slurry on the bottom there. I'm also going to add a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. Call that keeping tablespoons. Let's just go for about a minute or so, a minute or two. Then start uh, adding some liquid. We'll pop the beef back in along with the bacon. We'll keep rolling. It's time to add our liquids here. So we're going with some beef broth. I just want to give a little mix there, get all of that goodness churned up off the bottom. We're also going with some red wine. The 
about that much. Throw in some thyme, some rosemary, and if you have fresh, go for it. Some Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Well, we could do a class on how to say it. I don't know. I hate saying it. We'll put a little dash of uh, Montreal steak seasoning. Get that, Get that mixed up. Now we'll pop the bacon and the beef back in. Check and see what our fluid levels are here after we add this. Because we still have veggies to come, so we're going to let this cook. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll stop to add those veggies later. So we're going to turn down the heat to 300. Uh, close the lid on this bad boy and just let it cook open here. About an hour and a half. Let all this stuff get to know each other. It's looking fantastic. Alright, we'll see you in about an hour and a half. Alright, let's see how we do it. It's been an hour and a half. So it's cooked down nice there. Time to add some veggies. Smells fantastic. And then we're also going to put it in our diffuser. And uh, we're going to crank the heat up to 3, 350. And cover it. So, what I have, I have potatoes. I want the uh, Yukon Gold. Um, also, have some baby bella mushrooms, some carrots, and celery. I think we're going to add some more liquid to this. So, still got another hour and a half to go. That was an excellent base there. Definitely a hearty stew. Wouldn't say healthy, but hearty. Alright, let's see what we did. Let's get this bread out of here. Might have thrown a little additional lighting. So after we covered it, we've been rolling for uh, about an hour and 35 minutes. after I added that extra uh, liquid there. I'm going to pop some light on for it. Oh. There we go. It smells fantastic. Potatoes are nice and soft. Now this could be some good eats. Alright, well thanks for watching. You can do stew on your barbecue. Proven fact here.